Hi everyone! Today I have this new book to show you. It is, oh, I can come in a little bit closer. It is one that I received as a Christmas gift and I thought I would do a little flip through and colour in it. Um, it is called Tanglewood. In case it's too small, it says a captivating colouring book with hidden jewels. That's interesting. By Jessica Palmer. It is a sort of, um, I haven't got a ruler as usual. Um, I've got a matchstick mouse book. So it's a little bit smaller, slightly wider, but it's a square book. It's probably about the size of a Rita Berman book, I would say. And on the back, let's read this. Come inside and discover a magical place full of woodland creatures, fairy objects, I've just noticed this berries, and a tangle of mysterious plants and gorgeous flowers. Hiding inside every hand-drawn picture is an animal charm for you to find, waiting for your dual colours. This is a place to let your imagination wander down a path, into a forest, under a hedgerow, over the moon, and it's a space for you to be creative, to draw and doodle in the airy spaces, to colour to your heart's content, it's time to lose yourself in tangle wood. So that indicates it's going to be blank areas to actually doodle in, so we'll see. So on the cover we can see we've got a ladybird and an owl and a, a magpie carrying um, some sort of jewel, I think, that's the jewel, and a rabbit, so that's interesting. I can't tell if that's just a doodle or a flower or something, but let's go inside and have a look. This tells us a, blah, blah. this tells us a little bit about the um, author, and I'm not going to read that, I'm going to move on. Um, so here is our title page, and we've got the same picture as we did on the front, no, on the back, sorry. And we have a dedication for Ian and Rachel with loves, not me, different Rachel. And a um, pretty floral. And then we have, uh, this book belongs to me, we have a heart. It's quite a fine, um, delicate um, design there. Quite a small details there. I think you would need quite a fine pencil or pen for that one. And here we have our first page. So we have a tree in the sun over here with a bird. Um, yeah, so that's that one. And then we have, welcome to Tanglewood. Um, I think that's the same as on the back, so I'm not going to read it. I found what's interesting here is we have a bit of a pattern that it sort of fades. And then we have these three owls, which are looking quite cute. Ah, here are some of the jewels hidden in tangle wood. So here are different, there are lots of them are insects or there's a necklace, things like that. So that's really interesting. Hmm, we'll have a look out for those if we can see any of them. Now, this page, we have a bird here and we have a fox. We have quite a gnarly old tree, which is interesting. Now, I can see that if you looked at that initially, you might think that's quite tricky. But what I would do is I would get a, a tree-coloured pencil and just block out the main area. And then I would be able to see it. And then I would do the leaves. And then I would decide whether I was going to add in any other colours. And that would make it a bit easier for me to sort of work out where I'm going with it, really. And this page, we have um, florals. We have a butterfly. This one's been um, coloured in already. This was a second hand book, but that's okay. I can work with that. The pretty colours. I choose the felt pen look. I'll probably just um, do some pencil over the top of that and just make it those sort of colours. Be easy. And uh, another butterfly. Very pretty butterflies. And here we have, I can see the felt pen's gone through a little bit. I can work with that. I could easily um, cover that over. And we have a jewel here, okay, look. So, but that is interesting to note. So if you are a pen person, then this probably isn't the best book for you. But um, this person might have been pressing extra hard with that. It hasn't gone through to this page, fortunately. So that's fine. I can, as I said, I can work with that. Um, you know, do some, do uh, some blacks and things like that. That's fine. No problem at all. So here we have these three rabbits, we have a bird and the dragonfly, another bird, owl, butterfly, another bird. There's quite a lot. 
it's almost hidden which is quite fun so you have to sort of look and find them we've got a gate and a little wall here as well and sort of lines as if there's a ploughed field which is really interesting my telephone's ringing i'm just gonna go and see in case it's for me it wasn't for me so that's okay um husband is on the phone um he, he's home he's on this his dad on the phone so that's all fine right so here we have owls we have a lot of space here so you could um doodle or you could not you know just leave it i think it's quite striking if that's just left blank for me because i'm not into doing the doodling what's quite interesting is these trees are empty so there's no leaves drawn in there so you can draw some in or just do a solid area i think it's um it's, it means it's quite open which is quite interesting Look what looks like brickwork here as well so it's quite an interesting design we have two really pretty dragonflies <coughs> on this page with really lovely um, lily pads. And there's that, I think that is probably the little jewel there. Mm, this one's interesting because we've got a butterfly and what looks like a little um, mouse, but no tail, guinea pig. No, Dormouse, maybe, and a fox there, but with a hook as if it's the jewel. Do you see? Interesting, lots of floors. Nice house. I like this house. And we've got the um, tree, a bird here as well. I wonder if there is a jewel hidden somewhere. This is a gingerbread house with candy canes, which is really interesting. I don't know how well it picks up because it's quite small, but there are little sweets and candies and things. It's really good fun. Now this one is a very pretty sort of repeating flower going round, but here we have what looks like a little brooch and we have a bird there. I think it's a bird. No, that's a grasshopper or cricket, something like that. So we have a nice picture here with a, I'm thinking stork, could be heron, holding what looks like a fish brooch, the sun, a little squirrel. Now this to me looks like a pheasant, I'm thinking. Yes, look at the shape of that one. Yeah, a pair of pheasants, so that's fun. But I don't know where the um, sort of jeweled thing is in that one. Maybe it's that. I don't know. And we have a cute owl, look at that, peeping out. That's sweet. Another owl here is this, uh, a scarab beetle, I think, there. And these are, um, are they called snakes, snake skin fritalia or something fritalia? Well, this is interesting, it's just got trees. And that looks like it's a, some sort of jeweled item and uh, the sun peeping through. Now this one is very detailed. These are really pretty. You'd want a really sharp pencil. Um, maybe, I think very thins might be good. You know, the Prismacolors might work and what i think i would do with these little jeweled items is probably make this you know browns and greens maybe sort of say purple for that or something and then make that one like a really bright red or something so it stands out i think that'll be fun sorry i'm getting squiffy so this one this is fun we have two we have what looks there like a ring and here that looks like a brooch and this really pretty is honeysuckle around the outside now here we have a ba baby badger, baby fox, and a bird with quite a big um, jeweled swan. Lovely daffodil. More of those um, frit fritellias. More daffodils over here. It's a springtime looking picture, isn't it? Now we have a sort of door. That looks like a stained glass window in this sort of house. It's really interesting. But this is all quite complex. So it'll be really interesting to try and work out what to do with all of those tangles. Here is a bird. I don't know if that's just a worm. I'm assuming there's uh, another bit of jewelry there. A cute rabbit. And here is a, a little hmm, fox, maybe. There's our little jewel, and some really big bug. I'm not sure what that is. Now this is interesting because you've got a frame, a thing in it. 
so you can really just do whatever you like. There's our little jewel there. Looks like a bit like a um, poppy, I think. Here we have a rooster and there's a little, uh, it's like a salamander. What is this? Really interesting design. Here we have another tree and our bird's carrying something. A little cute owl, another bunny. It's a really distinctive style, isn't it? A cute hedgehog and a little caravan, look at that. That's really nice. And lots of berries. <laughs> now we have an umbrella and something here with the hook on as if that's a jewel but these florals are pretty we have a little deer and I think that is our um, thing we're looking for and a butterfly this page. three owls very yeah, sweet this one put its head on the side here we have, I think, King of Hair, quite long ears, and a sort of monkey jewel there. I'm wondering, you know, you could do them in um, metallic pens, but the thing is, the unless they're a gel pen, it would just cover the whole thing and you wouldn't see all those details. You wouldn't be able to work out what it was. You have to be a bit careful. Maybe some stickles or something. There's another one there. There's a bird. Lots of... This is a bit more simple. Here we have another heart. I think that's rather like the one at the beginning. It's very fine detail. And we have four different owls. There's a lot of owls in this book. Good for owl lovers and rabbit lovers. It's a lot. I'm just looking at the most pair of earrings there with my son. Sweet. Another bunny. And another owl. And this is a very, I like that tree, it's fun, really good fun. We have another sort of stalk or crane. It's a kingfisher. It's, uh, I don't know what these are, of the trees. Maybe they're just the leaves. I don't know, we've got a bridge. Got some bubbles with faces. <laughs> We have we have a bird, lots of berries on this page. Two birds. Hmm. Nice. And a peacock with a big feather there, and more honeysuckle all around. I keep finding the um, little gems, but I'm not gonna tell you where they all are. This one, the bird has a crown look. Interesting. Um, I don't know what type of bird they are though. Maybe they look like they might be jackdaws to me. Oh, that one's really sweet. I don't know what that is. It's ever so cute. The house. There we have a pair of birds on a branch. I like this cobweb. It's got little circles on as if there's dew or raindrops. It's rather nice. Hmm. These are quite big. The um, these, and this one, the sort of two jewels. Now this one again is just a border, so you might put something in the middle. If you can't draw or you don't want to draw, um, you can draw if you want to. But if you don't want to, then you could always write a quote in there. Get a ruler, draw some lines, write something in. Same as this one. You don't have to um, draw a picture in the middle. And we have another one with trees. This one's a black background, which is interesting. But there's our little jeweled part. And at the end, another one with that. I guess we've gone to night time. I guess that's the moon. So that's fun. So, we're going to pick one and do a little bit of colouring. I've decided already. I chose as I flipped through. Can you guess? I think this one is the, probably the simplest one to do. I'm just going to grab some paper to put behind the page. Because it's, it's fairly fine. It's not too fine because I've picked one that isn't really too fine. Um, I think I'll use... Um, 
I try the castle art? Sort of standard pencil. Not too budgety, not too expensive. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let's get some greens for the leaves. Um, I think I will use the chrome green to start with. I should go in a bit closer so you can see the detail. Okay, let's do it. Just start with this leaf here. So I'm going to um, put some. I'm sorry, you can probably hear my husband's voice in the background. It's very loud. So I'm going to just fade it out and just feel how it goes down on the paper. The paper feels fairly smooth to the touch and the thickness is um, thicker than copy paper, which is always nice. It's a reasonably reasonable thickness, I think. So I'm not pressing too hard, I'm just sort of... I'm going to do all the leaves the same, so I'm going to just do the others as well. So now I'm not pressing too hard, but I don't want to um, damage the paper until I sort of know what it can take. But just getting some colour down. Um, I'm trying not to do the stemmy bit, I want that to be a little bit lighter. Just taking, fade, trying to fade the colour towards the edge a little bit. And now I want the cadmium green if I can find it. I think that's it. There it is. So this is the cadmium green, and I'm just going to go over it all really. Let's start with this little one and just blend it up. This has covered the other one a bit. I'm just going to keep the stem the same colour throughout, I think, just for this sort of testing purposes, really. And it's going down quite smoothly because it's blending nicely. I, I shouldn't really um, struggle to blend because these pencils do blend well. Anyway, so the dark doesn't really show through, but I think I haven't. I didn't um, put that much down, that's probably why. But uh, I'm, yeah, I'm happy with this paper. I would say it's nicer than um, Amazon paper, than copy paper, which is nice. Especially for a sort of, I don't know if this started off as a budget book, $8.99. Yes, it's not as expensive as some books, but um, apparently um, I will have a look for it and um, put some links to it in the description. But apparently um, they sell them in the works in um, in the UK. I will hunt it down if it's on Amazon. I will put a link to that so that um, and for the US because people, you know, obviously not everyone is able to get to a works shop or whether they have this one or whether it's um, um, different um, titles by the same author, I'm not sure. I don't know if she's done any more. The books in the back that they advertised weren't um, by this author, or they weren't colouring books anyway. So uh, I think they were just different art books by the same publisher. Now... I'm going to do this quite quickly. I'm not going to do anything too fancy, just because I'm sort of testing the paper out, really. Now, with this particular design, I um, can't see what I'm doing. Um, there's a lot of blank space on this page, and that can be quite daunting. But you can just leave it white, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Or if you really, really, really feel that it needs something, because I think a white can be really help a design to pop off the page so it can actually be quite advantageous to just leave something white but if you really want some colour then you could just get a soft pastel and splodge it about a bit and work like that you don't have to I'm just going to fade it a bit towards the end of each leaf 
you don't have to um, do anything too fiddly but if you do enjoy doodling then you could um, just doodle some patterns behind because it would work with the theme of this book you know anything you want I would um, if I was going to doodle I'd like doodle clouds if I could doodle, I'd doodle. Um, these are catkins I haven't got the right colour really I think I'm going to try doing a bit of terracotta light maybe on the edge catkins are quite yellow though aren't they I just think a yellow might not show up too much on this paper because it's so white and now, but I am going for a yellow now what's this one? Oh, lemon yellow I think that is the right shade you can decide. Now if you wanted to make this look a little bit more realistic, catkins tend to have a lot of loose pollen, which I think is what's being tried to be depicted here. What you could do is get a, a, black, a yellow pen and dot 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 lots of pollen. But um, and as I said lots of times I'm keeping this one fairly simple. There we go. Now we could do our bird very bright or we could keep him quite plain. Um, I'm going to have a little think. I think I'm going to keep him sort of realistic looking ish, but not based on any specific bird. So I think I might go for some browns, maybe. I could do him like a robin, it would be very seasonal, but I don't know whether. Yeah, there are catkins on the trees now. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's do Robin. Um, I think the red ochre is the best colour for Robin's chest. Mm, but the angle we're at, it's hard to know how much red to use. I'm going to completely ignore the doodling. I'm just going to put some red in. Like that. Now, Robin's red tends to go over their face, but it doesn't always look quite right. So I'm not going to put it over this guy's face. I'm going to fade that into a brown. Um, this is the Van Dyke brown. I'm going to start with it dark over here. And then just fade it into the red. So you could um, spend a lot of time... Um, highlighting all these little doodles in different colours and uh, making them all stand out. But you notice I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as is. Now for the tail I'm going to make it darker at the top and then just fade it down towards the bottom. Hi, sorry about the sort of sudden break in the in video my battery went flat on my camera I had no idea I must have left it unplugged from the mains and uh, so I really have no idea what I was talking to you about but I'm just going to work a little more on this tail as um, I assume that's where I was at and I have to say I'm really liking this paper for the castle arts they're going down quite nicely I'm not pushing them down too hard but layering up you can get quite a nice effect I'm going to come in a bit closer though to do the head and uh, actually sharpen my pencil. I think I'm going to stick with the same brown though. Um, just finding my sharpener. Oh, my light isn't on. Hang on. Oh, sorry, I go a bit funny. It's quite dismal outside, I have to say today. So I hope it's um, going to be bright enough. For the little feathers, I'm going to try and make them a bit darker at one end and lighter towards the tip. This is the way I like to colour feathers because it makes them look slightly more um, three-dimensional and it gives a little bit of texture to the bird just by um, making it look like the feathers are maybe um, slightly fluffy I suppose. So the more dark you put here in the bottom the more it looks like this one is standing out from it. I'm not going to overdo it too much, but just a little. 
I think uh, Robin really has a red head. I've, and uh, it's quite odd because that I'm sure is his tummy, but his head's facing that way. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So I hope everyone's okay today. Um, it feels like a new day for me. I know it's not a weird thing to say in the middle of a video, but uh, I've just been out. I'm doing a bit of Christmas shopping. It's this 23rd of December today recording this. I'm just getting myself a little bit in advance so that I can take a little bit of time off um, over Christmas. I've got, um, I've taken a few days off and uh, with some, you know, when I've been doing family things and uh, I'm going to have a few more days off. But today my kids are doing homework, what's well, supposed to be. Sounds like um, they're having a very long chat with their dad, but that's nice. Anyway, um... So I thought we'd just come in and do a bit of this. I went out to uh, the Christmas market in town. Um, it's not, it's sort of craft stores and things for last minute gifts. I feel that they really should run them a little bit earlier in the month because it's a little bit late, particularly this year with um, posting things out. It's far too late now. Um, well, it, our last posting date, I think, was put forward to the... I think I hope you can see that it looks a little bit more textured and fluffy. I'm going to do around the eye in a grey, I think, because um, the last posting date I think was the 12th of December, but um, cool grey. But things were taking a long time. I received a parcel yesterday on the 22nd that was posted on the 22nd of November. It did come from the USA. And um, my husband received a parcel yesterday, which was 48 hour tracked. I'm going to do the beak in this colour too. I'm going to do it a bit darker at the bottom. And um, it took nearly two weeks to arrive. <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous really. But uh, it is what it is. Um, it's tough times. I have sympathy in some ways. And in other ways it's really irritating. So it's, it's tricky. But uh, there we go. I sort of, you know. I know it's... People want, yeah, I think there's several different reasons they're striking. I did see a postal van today, though, with a postal worker in it. So obviously they're either not part of the union or they've been brought in as a sort of supply worker or something. But uh, anyway, right, that is me done. I'm going to zoom out so you can see the whole thing. I'm not going to do a background or anything. I mean, this is, there's a lot of white space and it could, um, I would say... Um, if I was going to do something, I would probably do some clouds, cloud stencil and pastel, something like that. But actually, I really like the way it's quite plain and simple. So I am just going to leave it like that. So you've seen the book. Now, this is my colouring. I could layer up a lot more. I've kept it quite light. Um, I didn't want to sort of keep you for too long, showing you too much, really. So... Yeah, I think it's the paper quality seems nice. I mean, it's not as thick as a Hannah Carlson, but it's definitely a fairly thick paper, and um, it's toothy enough to take layers, but not um, so toothy that it looks. You can see all the sort of white through massively. You can a bit, but that that's what I like. So there we go. So thank you for watching. Um, I will put the link links to the book if I can find them in the um, in the description of the video so you can go and have a little look for yourself if you want to find out a little bit more about it and uh, I will also put the pencil colors in there too if you want to uh, if you've got the book or you get the book and you want to color along so thank you for watching I hope you have a really lovely day and happy coloring